good more good afternoon rather we're looking at some conditions that are yet again on the windy side it's a hot wind coming in out of the south and it's really whipping those flags at the dakota magic casino down in hankinson that hot air continues to drive in and that's all feeding into that system that's going to be producing the rain and thunder for later today and ahead of that of course we are heating up quite a bit here in the valley so that wind is part of it and it's not going to cool us down i asked some i had somebody ask me if you know we'll feel a little bit better with the wind well it's more like a hair dryer blowing at you hot air coming your way here as we look into the afternoon this will continue so again it's not going to bring much relief we're looking at winds out of the south gusts ahead of the front that are into the 30s and 40s in spots especially southeastern north dakota down towards sisseton in south dakota as well augusta 45 and other places seeing steady speeds in the teens and 20s with gusts that are higher than that so a windy one the hot temperatures are here. We're at 91 degrees in Sisseton. It's 87 currently in Fargo, 88 over in Jamestown, and some 80s over to Minnesota too. Detroit Lakes is at 86 currently. Some 70s up north, but you're climbing as well up along the border there. That's also where we've had more rain and cloud cover too. Now let's check out our, our heat index values. That's when we factor in the humidity. So we're at 87 in Fargo. It feels more like 89. Not terrible, just a little bit higher, but we are feeling more more into the 90s in southeastern North Dakota right now. And we're looking at Oaks at 90, Jamestown 92, your heat index. I just checked on the Gwinter uh, area and we have a 95 heat index there. And this is just going to continue to climb as we continue into the afternoon. So very hot in the south, windy everywhere. And then we've got these areas of rain and thunder up in the northern valley. They're not severe, but still some thunderstorms going on over in Pembina County in North Dakota, right along the border in Minnesota, and then some rain and thunder over into uh, the Red Lake area as well. So I'll continue to monitor that this afternoon. As we step you through our hour by hour planner, though, you'll see that we've got more intense storms coming our way for later tonight. So this is noon, starting to heat things up quite a bit here in the noon hour. Temperatures will rise back into some low to some mid 90s coming up for this afternoon. An isolated storm or two, I can't rule out, but you can see that most of us are going to stay on the dry side. This is through the five o'clock hour. Temperatures in the south, low to mid 90s. Northern Valley, some mid 80s to some low 90s. And then those of us who had the front go through earlier, uh, maybe a little bit cooler there, relatively speaking still a warm day for you. So heading into the evening, watch what happens here. We start to see storms popping from around Red Lake back through Fargo on this particular forecast model run around that eight o'clock hour. This continues to fill in and just kind of take over these areas that we were just showing you are in that risk for some severe weather. We're looking at hail, large hail being a damaging uh, factor for us. Also, wind could pick up to as high as 70 miles per hour or so in some of these storms and then heavy rain. Eventually this will become more of a rain threat. So it's in the early stages of these storms that we'll see them be the strongest and then they'll start to turn more into again just heavy rainmakers into Saturday morning. This is 8 a.m. Saturday morning. We're still getting some rain. So impacts certainly here from this next round of rain and thunder. We're looking at this two area here, that's a level two out of five risk or a slight risk for severe storms. It includes Fargo. It includes the Sioux Pass Ranch. So if you've got friends over at a uh, WeFest or you're planning to attend WeFest tonight, make sure you guys have plans to find some safety. If we do have a severe thunderstorm warning issued, hail's not going to be fun to get stuck out in. And now heading into the weekend, cooling down significantly temperatures in the 70s. But today's going to be tough, both heat and because of the storms possible for tonight. I want to punch in weather. Exactly. All right, Lisa, thank you.